to I'm gonna record this for those who want access to it to watch it later. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's gonna be very powerful. You know what I mean? So uh, we're gonna get straight into it. I'm expecting God to do many powerful things. You know, but one thing I'm going to emphasize really quick is that the world we live in today. If you guys want to, you can click something that's called add pin and it, it'll, it'll make my face project. It'll just make me full screen, okay? If you wanna click the three dots, it will make the screen project. But here we go. We're gonna break witchcraft today, but I wanna let you guys know something. Today, in this world we live in, the world has modernized uh, witchcraft. Witchcraft is normal today. There's witchcraft in music. There's witchcraft in certain clothing brands. There's witchcraft in certain perfumes. There is witchcraft in many things, but believers do not understand these things because the Bible says that it's, that it's, the, it's the Holy Spirit that reveals all things and the deeper things of God. Because there are many people, a lot of people are not going to want to hear this, but there are many women that I have brought through deliverance from wearing human hair. And that's just one portion of it because there was witchcraft done from the origin of where that hair, hair came from in India and China. You know what I mean? So I wanna go straight to the basics first of what witchcraft really is. The definition of witchcraft is the use of sorcery or magic, the, a communication with the devil or a uh, with a familiar spirit. It's also rituals and practices that incorporate belief in magic and are associated especially with pagan traditions and religions such as Wicca. We gotta understand something that when people begin to operate in witchcraft, they're operating, operating in a power that is unauthorized by God. People who use witchcraft are operating in a supernatural power that is unauthorized by God. And I want to show you guys a huge Bible verse that can back that up because we got to understand something right here that witches and warlocks, they gain power. And how do they gain power? They gain power through animal sacrifices, human sacrifices, virgin and child sacrifices, blood consumption, uh, grave soaking, and casting spells. Heavy. You know what I mean? There, there was one time I, I, I came in contact with a, a false prophet, but he was really a warlock. And he began to pray over people, pray over myself, and pray over loved ones. And then when I began to pray for these people, because this, this false man of God had the ability to make people speak in tongues, but the tongues were demonic. He had the ability to make people fall, but the power that he was using was unauthorized by God. And those same people that I would pray for, they would manifest and the spirit would speak out where it came from. So there are many prophets today false prophets, there are many pastors, teachers, evangelists, and all those things, but they're false. In the realms of the spirit, they have went to a witch doctor to inquire of power. This is why it's very dangerous to jump on anyone's Facebook Live, just anyone. This is why it's very dangerous to just post anything in your business on Facebook, because the Lord has revealed to me that there are many monitoring spirits on the internet that are coming to, against your destiny and your purpose to come against your destiny and your purpose but many people do not truly understand that concept you hear me so we're gonna go straight into the word right now you know a lot of people today they are bewitched you're probably wondering what is bewitched how can someone be bewitched the definition of bewitched is to influence or affect or especially injure someone by witchcraft to be bewitched is to be influenced or affected or injured by witchcraft, to cast a spell over someone, to attract someone. Because you understand, people who operate in the occult, people that use witchcraft, you got to understand that they will use the power to influence you to do crazy things. They will use the power to injure you. They will use the power uh, to cast a spell on you and to destroy your finances, to make you go crazy, uh, for you to never have children, barrenness. This is witchcraft. So if somebody is jealous of you in your family or friends or whoever, they will begin to inquire of power from the devil 
to put an enchantment or incantation or a spirit on you to bewitch you. And the thing about witchcraft is that it seems so amazing because witchcraft is power. Witchcraft is supernatural. Witchcraft, witchcraft will absolutely, witchcraft will absolutely blow your mind. We gotta understand that you know a lot of people, their soul, Holy Ghost feel they're like witchcraft has no power. Witchcraft has power. There's someone I'm, I'm, you know, contending against in the realms of the spirit, and, he, and he's a witch doctor, and he's appearing in my dreams, and we're, we're it's like it's like a, it's a battle, and he's he's a warlock, and he's entering my dreams, you know, and these people are witches and warlocks. They have the power to influence. So when you're seeing a mega preacher or a, a, um, a mega pastor on television, and there's a spirit behind them that will influence you to stay in the church, influence you to sow your tithes and offering, but it's a, it's a witchcraft spirit, and it's a witchcraft spirit to fascinate. We got to understand, write this down in the book of Acts chapter 8, verse 9 through 12. The, the, book, of, the book of Acts chapter 8, verse 9 through 11, it said, but there was a certain man called Simon who previously practiced sorcery in the city and astonished the people of Samaria, which means that basically he fascinated the people of Samaria, claiming that he was someone great to whom they all gave heed from the least to the greatest, saying this man is the great power of God. And they heeded him because he had astonished them with his sorceries for a long time. So there was a man in the Bible named Simon the Sorcerer. He had the ability to use witchcraft power. He had the ability to make a, a whole city bewitched. He had the ability to make people believe that he was a man of God. Because he, he had the power, because of the power that he had. Many of you, just because you see power, it does not mean it's the power of God. Just because you're seeing someone tell you about your future, it doesn't mean it's the power of God. It's the power of the Antichrist. It's the power of Satan. Simon the sorcerer in the book of Acts chapter 8 had the ability to take over a whole city. He had so much power that people began to believe that he was from God. Many of you, those people that you watch on television, you think they're men of God, but they're not. They're witches and they're warlocks. There's some people, I'm not going to say names, but are operating in Bethel Church, operating under the spirit of witchcraft. There are people I've met face to face that are operating under the spirit of witchcraft. And, and, the, and the most easiest way, the number one way witchcraft is able to destroy people is music. If you call yourself a believer, but you're listening to music about drugs, money, sex, murder, it's witchcraft. Because that spirit that is on that person, the spirit will not penetrate through the music. And then your, your, your mental radar will not pick it up initially, but your subconscious will pick it up. Your soul will pick it up. And you will wonder why you're having sexual dreams. You're wondering why certain things are going wrong in your life because there's a spirit behind the music. Today, the music that we listen to, in order for the music to go hit billboards, in order for the music to be successful, and they really sing about nothing, there's a ritual that is done in the realms of the spirit before it's released. There's a ritual that is done in the realms of the spirit. This is why you cannot be a believer and listen to secular music. It, it, secular music does not exist in the kingdom of God. When we go to heaven, secular music will not exist in the kingdom of God. Music was created to worship God. The origin of music was to worship God. But the enemy has now used it for the kingdom of darkness. Secular music will not exist in heaven. So why are we listening to it now? Why are we promoting things that these people promote the Antichrist? They live for the Antichrist. We got we to gotta understand that this, this, this is huge stuff. There are many people I prayed for, and they have been bewitched just for music. We got to understand that Simon the Sorcerer had the ability to bewitch, to put witchcraft, to influence a whole city because of its power of witchcraft. He had the ability. You got to understand, there are many well-known healers 
many well-known prophets, pastors, evangelists, and teachers who use witchcraft power to perform signs and wonders. But it's not really signs and wonders. Let me tell you how a witch and a warlock will operate. They will come with fake healing. So if you have a pain in your shoulder, you will allow this witch, this false prophet to touch you. The pain in your shoulder will disappear, but they will transfer it to your knee. They will transfer it to another location. So you believe that you are healed and your left shoulder. But when you go home, another problem will arise. And this, because witchcraft is, witchcraft is deception. When you allow a false prophet to prophesy into your life, they are actually putting a demonic spirit to hinder the prophecy. Because false prophets, they have the ability to see your future and their destiny. So do not be wooed. Do not be fascinated by accuracy and prophecy. Because there's something called the spirit of divination that is witchcraft. They have the ability to see your future. But when they lay hands on you, they're coming against the your future. They will prophesy what is true. But when they lay hands, they're coming against what God has for you. And if you do not have discernment, these things, these people will abort your destiny in the realms of the spirit. They will abort it. All these false prophets, what they really are in the spirit realm is witch doctors, voodoo priests. You see, in Africa, th these are the people we call witch doctors. People go to witch doctors and they ask them for healing. They ask them for blessings. They ask them for money. But something has to take place first. You either have to sell your soul or you have to sacrifice a family member, you're gonna have to drink blood. My uncle used to be a witch doctor. You gotta understand, but the power that he had will blow your mind. He had to sacrifice people in the family. We gotta understand that. But he had the ability to look at women and make them fall in lust and have sex with them. He had the ability to have something called automatic writing where he would do all his tests and write them all down and a demonic spirit will be on the pen and he'll get an A plus in all his classes. But if you ask him the same question orally, he cannot answer it. Orally, he cannot answer it. But in order for him to have that power, he had to go to a witch doctor. And a lot of the people in the church today that you're encountering, you're watching on television, they are witch doctors. But the difference between a witch doctor and a false prophet is a suit. You got to hear me. The difference between a witch doctor and a false prophet is a suit. I won't reveal names today, but there are people operating in Bethel Church, Bethel Music that you know about. They're operating in witchcraft power. Heavy witchcraft power. And we got we to understand that. There are also witches and warlocks that use witchcraft to keep people in bondage and destroy lives. There was a woman that I was praying for. Listen to this. There was a woman that I was praying for. And when I was praying for it, there was a spirit of witchcraft that manifested. And then when I asked the spirit who it was, the spirit gave a name of her cousin. And this spirit started speaking out and saying that is responsible for everything wrong that is going on in this woman's life. And the Holy Spirit opened my eyes. I saw a wooden bowl, like a wooden bowl in Africa. This woman was in Ethiopia. I saw a wooden bowl in Ethiopia, and I saw American dollar, dollar bills in the wooden bowl. And when the American dollar bills were in the wooden bowl, this is the, the woman from Ethiopia, she was coming against her finances in America. I begin to see things in the wooden bowl. The Holy Spirit opened my eyes. I saw things in the wooden bowl. And this it's this lady's cousin. She was doing witchcraft against her. You gotta understand, people that you give your clothing to, people that you eat from, people that you just give anything to, they could be operating in the occult. And all they need is your hair. All they need is your clothes. And if you are not a prayerful person, they will come against your destiny. They will come against your destiny. And many of you, I can see on this line that there's a spirit of witchcraft that is on this line heavy. I see it right now. Hindering destinies. Oh, Telebekoya. I'm seeing that it's coming against finances in the realms of the spirit. I see it. But that power is going to be broken today in the name of Jesus. Because you got to understand something. The Bible says in Leviticus chapter 10, verse 1 through 2. Read this. Leviticus chapter 10, verse 1 through 2. It said, 
Aaron's sons, Nadab and Abihu, took their censers, put fire in them, and added incense. And they offered unauthorized fire before the Lord, which means fire that did not come from God. Contrary to the Lord's command. So fire came out from the presence of the Lord and consumed them, and they died before the Lord. What is the Bible saying here? That in the Old Testament, they used to give sacrifices to the Lord. And God, if God accepts the sacrifice, there'll be fire from heaven that will come down and burn the sacrifice. But the fire will come from God. But these two people, they began to use fire, strange fire that was unauthorized from God. They had the power and the ability to invoke and conjure up a fire, a power that had not come from the Lord. And the reason they were able to do that, because they did it by ways of witchcraft. That's why many men, false men of God today, they had the ability to call down fire, but that fire is not coming from God. They have the ability to lay hands on people and they're speaking in tongues, but their tongues are speaking are not from God. It's called demonic tongues. They have the ability to mimic the things of the spirit. But it's a snake. It's a snake. You don't understand the amount of deliverance I'm doing on certain people today because they have demonic tongues. It will blow your mind. The amount of people I'm doing deliverance on from zodiac signs. If you're doing zodiac signs, it's a witchcraft spirit. Fortune cookies, tarot cards, Ouija board, Santeria, dream catchers. All those things, it's witchcraft. If you believe you're a Gemini or a Cancer or this, that, it's witchcraft. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans that I have for you. Hope in the future. The Lord is telling you that your future is in my hands, but you put your future in a fortune cookie. You, believe, you begin to come into agreement with the fortune cookie. Where does the fortune cookie come from? It comes from the Buddhists. It comes from the people who are Chinese and they worship demons in their Buddhism. But when you believe in what the Buddhists are saying with the fortune cookie, you come in agreement with the spirit. Tarot cards, you come into the agreement with the, with the spirit. Heavy stuff. We got to understand that, that God warns us to stay away from witchcraft and wizards. In Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31, the Bible says, Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. The Bible is telling us those who have familiar spirits and who are wizards, we will be defiled by them. The Lord says, do not do it. And you're probably wondering, what is a familiar spirit? Listen, every single person on here has a familiar spirit following you. And this familiar spirit, it studies you. It knows everything about your life personally. A familiar spirit. This is why when you go to a fortune teller and they distract you by looking at a crystal ball, they'll look at the crystal ball, they're distracting you. And the reason they know information about you is they because they begin to interact with a familiar spirit. When they interact with the familiar spirit, that familiar, familiar spirit will give them information. And then that fortune teller will tell you things and you will say, oh my gosh, how did you know that? It's not the fact that that fortune teller has power. It's the fact that that fortune teller is communicating with the familiar spirit that follows you your whole life. Because everyone here has a familiar spirit, a demonic spirit that follows you and gives report to Satan. And this is why when you go to a fortune teller, they know things about you in the realms of the spirit because they're communicating with the familiar spirit. Communicating with the familiar spirit. And this is why a lot of people, they are bound because there's something called monitoring spirit. There's aunts and uncles who are witches and warlocks in your family. I see it right now. Witches and warlocks in the family. that are holding your destiny. It's not normal for your life to be going the way it is. It's not normal for you to be struggling. But the moment we begin to pray, you manifest. Why? Because there's a spiritual power that is hindering you. Many of you, I can see that you struggle to pray and fast, but the Bible says that these kinds of spirits will not come out except through prayer and fasting. So what is it basically saying? That there are certain demonic powers that will come out when you just pray and you speak in tongues, ribando, but there are certain powers of darkness. They will not leave until you pray and fast. 
It's in the Bible, in the book of Mark, chapter 8. It will not leave. Because you got to understand, people who operate in the occult, they do blood sacrifice. They sacrifice human beings. 99% of the people that are missing today were abducted by witches and warlocks. They have to do human being sacrifice. See, in order for us to operate at a certain level in the realms of the spirit, we have to fast. And in order for witches and warlocks to operate at a certain level, they also have to fast under certain conditions. My uncle used to be a warlock, and one of the conditions they had for him was to abstain from sex and not eat pork meat, pork, pork meat, and to drink all these bottles of perfume and to sacrifice goats. So if you are not fasting, you will lose. Your destiny and your purpose will be aborted in the realms of the spirit because the people that are coming against you are fasting. They're drinking blood. They're cutting the necks off of goats and drinking it. It is a fact. They do this in voodoo and Haiti. They do it. It's a religion. They do it. They do it. So if you're a Christian and you're saying, my life, is, I, my life is going the way it is, God, why can't you do something? It's not that the fact that God is not doing something. If there's a fight in the realms of the spirit. Somebody has your hair. Somebody has your clothes. Somebody is doing rituals and incantations. This might, might sound foreign to you, but it's common in Africa. It's common in Africa. But the world today has modernized witchcraft. Music, tarot cards, Ouija board, uh, dream catchers, all those things, the beads, the rosary, witchcraft, voodoo priests. There's no such thing as good witchcraft. There's no such thing as good voodoo. It's demonic. The Bible was us. God tells us in, the, in his word to stay away from witchcraft. The Bible tells us in Revelations chapter 21, verse 8, but the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers and the whoremongers and the sorcerers, sorcerers, those who do witchcraft and all the liars shall have their part in the lake of fire, which burneth with fire and brimstone. So let me tell you right now, anybody who's saying they're doing witchcraft for good, they're going to hell. The Bible says it. The Bible says it because what's happening? You are beginning to use power that does not come from God. And where does that power come from? It comes from the devil. Many of you, the reason you're going through what you're going through, because in your bloodline, I can see that there was someone who invoked a spirit on the bloodline for a woman to struggle to get married in the bloodline. There's a spirit. You go to the doctors, this whole bloodline, they suffer diabetes. This whole bloodline, they, they, it's a hereditary disease. But what it really is, it's a generational curse by ways of witchcraft. Doctors cannot stop a hereditary disease. They can just try to prevent it. It's going to take place because it's embedded in your DNA, but it's a spirit. It's a spirit. You hear me? We got to understand that there are many Christians today that have unknowingly put themselves in witch trap, whether it's tarot cards, whether it's watching certain movies. When you watch movies that have witch trap in it, you come into agreement with the spirit. God hates witchcraft. God killed a man of God in the Bible, King Saul, for using witchcraft. Look at this. In 1 Chronicles chapter 10, verse 13 through 14, the Bible says, So Saul died for his transgressions, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not. And also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it and inquire not of the Lord. Therefore, the Lord slew him. The Lord killed him. The Lord killed King Saul for going to a power that did not come from God. This is all in the Bible. This is all in the, this is all in the Bible. I walked into a church. I walk, make sure your, your phone's on mute. I walked into a church and there was a, there was a man, but I'm going to reveal his name. There was a man by the name of Frank. He had the ability to do many things. The ability to, to, to make people fall, make people speak in tongues and all these crazy things. But he was using a witchcraft power. And it wasn't until I went to sleep, I went to fasting, the Lord revealed to me in a dream and a vision. I saw altars in his church. But what he was really doing 
was aborting the destinies of people in the church by ways of witchcraft. 99% of the women in that church, none of them are married. That church is 99% women. 99% of them are not married, none in the relationship. Because there's a spirit fighting. This stuff is heavy. And it is real. So if you've ever involved yourself with tarot cards, if you ever involved yourself in anything of the occult, it's time to renounce it. It's time to renounce it. The Bible says that there are these people in the Bible that when they begin to see demonic spirits being cast out of people and manifest, they begin to throw away their witchcraft books. And the Bible says, and it says, many of them also, which used curious arts, brought their books together and burned them before all men. They burned their books, their witchcraft books. It's in the Bible. We got to understand that, that witchcraft, I'm seeing it on this line. I'm seeing witchcraft on this line that is going to be broken as we begin to pray. As we begin to pray, it's going to be broken, disintegrated in the name of Jesus. Because you got to understand that people that operate in the occult, they can be your best friend. Witches and warlocks are the nicest people you will ever meet. As long as you don't know they're a witch. Witches and warlocks will be your best friend. It, when the spirit of witchcraft is upon you, it doesn't mean you'll always manifest. Indications of witchcraft in your life. Finances are not working. Always having health issues. Something is always going wrong. There's a pattern of something always going wrong. It's witchcraft. There's a price to pay when you inquire of witchcraft. If you yourself and you're a mother and you do witchcraft, your children will not pay, will not pay for your sin of witchcraft. So some of you today are paying for the witchcraft that your ancestors were doing in the bloodline. I'm telling you, because as we begin to pray, many people will begin to be set free from the powers of witchcraft. The powers of witchcraft that are aborting destinies in the realms of the spirit. Because I'm telling you, I can see right now that there's like a demonic hand on this line that is holding many people's destiny and their purpose. You will see as I begin to pray, many people will begin to manifest. Many people will begin to manifest. And the other way that witches and warlocks are, are, have the ability to destroy your life is this. The witches and the warlocks, they have the ability sh to shape shift. It, the things I'm saying will blow your mind, but they have the ability to shape shift. So when you sleep at night, there's something called astral projection, which means that your, their spirit leaves their body and they go and they can fly wherever they want. And they will go to wherever you are and they will monitor your life. Monitor your life to see how, how much you're succeeding. They'll see how much you're failing. If everything is going according to plan, they monitor your life. It doesn't matter if they are in Africa. It doesn't matter if they are in Europe. It's called astral projection. Many people I've prayed for, there was a spirit of astral projection in them. Heavy spirit. That these people who operate by witchcraft, one of the ways that they can enter your home and you won't know it, they operate as insects too. They operate as rats. If your home is infested by, by, by rats and infested by mice and infested by like dead birds everywhere, there is a monitoring spirit. But you, you think it's just weird. It's witchcraft. Witchcraft is powerful, but it's not exceed the power of God. And the only way you can overcome witchcraft if you live a life of prayer and fasting, serious prayer and fasting, not just saying, Lord, please help me. No, something needs to change in the realms of the spirit. I see a door right now with a chain on it. I see a door right now with a chain on it. And this door represents destinies. Because the devil does not care if you go to heaven or hell. The devil cares if you fulfill your destiny on this earth. 
Because if you fulfill your destiny on this earth, you will influence people. You will win souls to the kingdom. Because everything that you do is success will benefit the kingdom of God. The enemy is after your destiny and your purpose. He doesn't care if you go to heaven or hell. He's after your destiny and your purpose because he knows that you, there's some prophetesses on this line. Hmm. That your destiny has been held up in the realms of the spirit. But today, we will break the powers of witchcraft. Many of you are inquiring of voodoo priests. My, my, my uncle used to be demonically possessed. And he went to a witch doctor. And the witch doctor made his situation worse. Made his situation worse in the realms of the spirit. But today, we're going to break the powers of witchcraft. We're going to break the powers in the, of the occult, the powers from tarot cards, the powers from Ouija board. Every spirit of witchcraft is going to be broken. And let me tell you something right now. The Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. You hear me? In Exodus chapter 22, verse 18, verse 20, uh, uh, Exodus chapter 22, verse 18, it says, thou shall not suffer a witch to live. Some of you are praying for witches to repent. Me, I just keep it straight. I do not pray for a witch to repent. I don't. The Bible says suffer not a witch to live, but people like to uh, um, take Jesus out of context of what he said to pray for our enemies. Jesus is not talking about those who are doing witchcraft against you. He's not talking about those people. Because the moment someone begins to come against you with witchcraft, they step into the realms of the spirit. The Bible says we do not fight against flesh and blood. But the moment a witch or someone begins to inquire of witchcraft, they're out of the physical realm now. They step in the spiritual realm. They step in the spiritual realm. So anyone that steps into the boundaries, uh, or that enter into the spirit realm, you come against them in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, they're trespassing. Stop praying for your auntie to repent. It's not trying to come against her in the name of Jesus. It doesn't mean the Lord will kill her, but the Lord can bring sickness on witches and warlocks so they repent. So they repent. Because there are witches and warlocks today. They will not repent until the day they die. They will not do it. We see in the Bible that Pharaoh, God hardened Pharaoh's heart. So Pharaoh could not give his life to the Lord, or he could not listen to Moses, no matter what signs and wonders happen, no matter the plague, no matter the darkness, no matter whatever, Pharaoh would not repent, no matter what Moses did. There are people today who are witches and warlocks. They will never repent, and they're operating in your family, in your bloodline. They won't repent. And until you do spiritual warfare, you will stay bound. These are spiritual things. It's not about, oh, they're my mother, they're my this. It's spiritual. Spiritual, you have to fight back. The Bible says, I've given you the spiritual authority to trample over the scorpions and the snakes. The number one way God's power is mobilized and used on this earth is by mankind. The number one way the devil's power is used and mobilized on earth is by mankind. If you do not do spiritual warfare on those who operate by ways of witchcraft, you will stay bound. Because that person, their heart is hardened. Yes, they can give their life to the Lord. But their heart is hardened until something critical takes place. Witches and warlocks will not repent until something critical takes place. They can be your best friend. Huh. They could be your best friend. They could be your father. There's some people today on this line, your father is the one that's doing to you. It's your father. And your father is not intentionally doing it to you, but he has been deceived by ways of witchcraft. By ways of witchcraft. Mm. I'm feeling the Holy Ghost right now. Listen, powers of darkness are going to break. Many of you, as I call you to the surface, you will see the spirits that will speak out. 
holding destinies, holding finances, holding your peace of mind. Some of you, 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 it's like barrenness. The enemy will stop you from having children. This power of darkness is going to break today. Stay away from you, uh, secular music. Stay away from witchcraft practices. Stay away from friends that, that, that lead you into the wrong direction. Because I'm seeing your destiny is held up in the realms of the spirit in the second heaven. Because the Bible says that, God says that my promises are yes and amen. So when you ask if, when you ask the Lord something, the Lord says my promises are yes and amen. But the reason that many, many promises do not come down right away it's either two things. It's not the timing of God. You're living in sin or it's captivated in the realms of the spirit. Because when God sends his, his blessing from heaven, it has to pass through the celestial realm, which is the second heaven. It means outer space. But this is the place where demonic powers dwell. And many of you, your destiny, your purposes, your blessings are captivated in the second heaven. And this second heaven is in between the earth and heaven. That's why many people, you're wondering why I'm not, my prayers are not being answered. Because somebody is coming against your answered prayer by ways of witchcraft. They cannot stop you from praying. But they can stop your blessing from touching the earth. Hey, hey, listen to that revelation. They can't stop you from praying. But they can stop, they can contend against your answered prayer from touching the earth. Some of you are praying for deliverance. Your angel has left, the, the, your angel has left heaven to bring deliverance. But your angel, angel has been captivated in the realms of the spirit. We see that Daniel, as he began to pray, the, 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 the Bible says that Daniel's angel came down as soon as Daniel prayed. But there was a prince of Persia that withstood Daniel's angel for 21 days. It was a principality that withstood Daniel's answered prayer for 21 days. How many of you, that when you pray to God for something, it doesn't happen on the seventh day. God says, keep praying. God is telling you to keep praying. The Bible says, pray without ceasing for a reason. Because in the realms of the spirit, there's a fight for your destiny. In the realms of the spirit, there's a fight for your destiny. God says, keep praying. Because it could be on the 21st day, you get your breakthrough, but you stop on the 19th. You think it's God delay, but it's by ways of witchcraft in the occult. It, I feel the Holy Ghost. It's by ways of witchcraft in the occult. There's a spiritual being. There's someone that is holding your destiny, your purpose. They're contending against your finances. Contending against your finances. The Bible says that the disciples lacked no good thing. Lacked no good thing. Lacked no good thing. The Bible says, if I am for you, who shall stand against you? You want to know some Bible verses to, to, to pray about, to pray over when, when you're praying against witchcraft? Let me tell you some Bible verses. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. And it says, and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Because we know that the anointing breaks the yoke. Whatever witchcraft is on your neck or on your shoulder that's coming against you, delaying your mind, it will be broken by the anointing because the anointing breaks the yoke. I don't care if it's a family member. I don't care if it's in your family. I don't care who it is. It's going to break today. And another powerful verse you can read is First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 22. It's saying, Touch not my anointed and doing my prophets no harm. Do you know it's illegal for a witch and a warlock to come against you? It is illegal for a witch and a warlock to fight against you. They are trespassing in the realms of the spirit. God says, do not touch my anointed ones. But if you allow the enemy to touch you, he will destroy your life. God is saying, I've given you the spiritual authority to come against the witches and the warlocks that are fighting you. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 31, if I am for you, who shall stand against you? Some of you are not listening to what I'm saying. You're not listening to what I'm saying. There's Santeria on this line. Someone is being bewitched by the spirit of Santeria on this line. Hey, I'm seeing high levels of your cults. Oh, Rabando. Witchcraft from Ethiopia, I'm seeing. Hey, my God. It's going to break today. It's going to break. So right now, where you are, my God, listen to me, Jess. Whatever that power of darkness, 
that was done to you. God says that are his fire and his anointing. Just God said that his fire and his anointing is going to penetrate your soul as we begin to pray. But listen to me, everyone watching me right now. I want you to begin to pray. We're going to pray for about three minutes. If you don't know how to pray, when I fast and I pray, I pray for an hour straight, two hours straight, three hours straight. I will pray. But some of you, we said pray for two minutes. You can't pray. This is why your life is going a certain way. It's a spiritual war. The Bible says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. It's not about the witch's human body. It's about the witch and the spirit she's inquiring of, the power that she's using. She has the ability to destroy your life by, the, by reason of, of the power of Satan. But listen, wherever you are, we're going to pray. And if you ever allowed a witch to touch you, if you have ever came into agreement with any type of witchcraft, any type of demonic song, any type of tarot cards, if you have done anything that has opened up a door in your life, anything you came into agreement with, it is time to repent. Even if you're saying you've never done it, maybe you have and you don't know. Movies, video games, music, certain demonic clothing that have spirits on them. You're wearing a, a perfume from Beyonce, demonic spirits. You're wearing perfume from Nicki Minaj, demonic spirit. You're wearing a, the perfume is called lust, and you're wearing the perfume called lust. You're wearing human hair. You gotta pray over that hair because you gotta understand that human hair, it comes from India and China. And they do rituals on it. They, they, they give it to their gods. And then they sell it. Research it yourself. The deliverance I've done will blow your mind. But now it's time to break the agreement because some of you have sold seeds and given your tithes and offering to a witch and a warlock in the church and you came into agreement with the spirit. Don't chase power and prophecy. Chase, chase holiness. Chase holiness. Holiness will unlock your destiny. Repentance will unlock your destiny. Deliverance does not unlock your destiny. Repentance unlocks your destiny because repentance brings forth true deliverance. Deliverance without repentance is just a tennis match of demons leaving and coming back. The repentance means I'm making the decision. The Bible says, choose whom this day who you will serve. So we're going to pray. We're going to pray. And you're going to renounce any witchcraft that was done to your family. Listen, begin to pray right now. Any witchcraft that was done by your parents, that was done by your family, or that was done to you, anything you might have done that has come against you, begin to renounce it and repent from it now in the name of Jesus. Because things are shifting and breaking in the realms of the spirit. Mm. Don't focus on me because God is doing something right now. The Spirit of God literally just ascended right now. The Spirit of God literally just ascended right now. My God, my God, my God. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. Tonight's tonight. Tonight is the night that many people will be set free from the powers of darkness. <clears throat> Tonight is the night that destinies will be unlocked. Tonight is the night. God says, tonight is the night I shall display my power. The Lord says that I'm dealing with those who have come against you. Because the Lord says, I am the one. I will contend against those who contend against you. The Lord says that the battle is mine and the victory is yours. God says that vengeance is mine and I shall repay. Listen, angels are being released right now as you, as you pray. As you repent right now. I'm seeing a shift taking place in the realms of the spirit. A shift is taking place in the realms of the spirit. I'm going to give you two minutes to pray because things are breaking. Karabando. That spirit of influence of witchcraft in your life is breaking. Keep praying for two minutes because something is shifting. 
Something is shifting in your life. Hey, my God, my God. I'm seeing finances being released right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, let your spirit flow. We're going to pray. The Lord just told me we're going to pray for five minutes straight. Because some of you, I can see you don't have a prayer life. But as you're praying, I'm seeing dead weight falling off you. Five minutes. Oh, shut up. Then I will begin to pray. Mm. Come on, press in, press in, press in. Press in, press in, press in, press in. We got four more minutes to go. Press in. Your destiny is on the line. <laughs> My God, your marriage is on the line. I can see that there are spirits coming against marriage on this line. I'm seeing spirits coming against marriage on this line. Listen. Oh, my God, my God, my God. My God, my God, my God. Mm. The Lord says that I'm not a man that I shall lie, neither the son of man that I shall repent. The Lord says that my promise and my destiny is in your hands. He says it's in my hands. Oh my God, the Lord is moving right now in the name of Jesus. We got three more, three more minutes to go. Begin to pray. If you love your life, begin to pray. If you love your children, begin to pray. There's some of you on this line that the Lord gave me a dream and a vision. Before this line, the Lord showed me you vomiting and throwing stuff up in the realms of the spirit. Before you even came out here, the Lord showed it to me. Many of you will be set free tonight. A manifestation doesn't just mean, a manifestation doesn't mean only deliverance. You can go through deliverance without manifesting. Yes, there's a shifting of the guard right now. There's a shifting taking place. We have two more minutes to go. We have two more minutes to go. Destinies are being unlocked in the realms of the spirit. Destinies are being unlocked in the realms of the spirit. Some of you, the Lord is saying right now that he will use you. God says that I'm raising Miriam's and Deborah's in this hour. God says the woman on this line that God will raise you up. God says there's a shifting taking place in the realms of the spirit. Right now in the name of Jesus, I feel the anointing. We got two more minutes to go. I feel the anointing. I got two more minutes to go. I feel the anointing. Carabando, shante. Anything that you're doing, witchcraft, tarot cards, Ouija board, zodiac sign, Gemini, cancer, break it off in the name of Jesus. Anything to do with spiritualism, your culture, whatever it is, anything from Africa, break it in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. I know your parents believed in voodoo, but that voodoo is destroying the bloodline. Hey, my God, there's a reason you're going through what you're going because they're going through because there's a spirit that has been upon the bloodline. My God, my God, my oh God, you are not the problem. You're struggling to find a job because there's a spirit coming against you. You're struggling financially. There's a spirit coming against you. You feel like whatever relationship you get into, it's not working. We got one more minute. And then I'll begin to pray. Cry out to Jesus. Fire, fire. I feel God. Fire, fire. 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 Shotele bekondo. Mantele beskoyandaraba. Listen, by the power of the Holy Ghost, listen to me. In the name of Jesus Christ right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I come against every spirit of which, wherever you are, put your hand in your stomach. Some of you will begin to manifest right now. I feel God here. The Bible says that God dwells in praise and worship. Listen, God say right now for two minutes, begin to worship his name because he's about to do something crazy. He's about to do something powerful. Begin to worship the Lord right now. Two minutes of worship. God is moving. God is moving. Whoa. All consuming fire fill this place. I feel the glory of God. Something is shifting right now. 
all consuming fire fill this place i hear god say right now this is what i hear the lord saying i'm coming my god i'm coming i'm coming god said he's coming right now so telebe kondo man telebe san telebe the son of god is here in the name of jesus in the name of jesus father right now by reason of the blood of jesus christ everyone put your hand on your stomach because that spirit of witchcraft is about to break in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit i command the spirit of witchcraft on this line to begin to break in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit of witchcraft that is on this line, generational curses that have come against you, I break it now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I command the spirit of witchcraft to break. It's breaking. I'm seeing it break now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. The spirit of witchcraft is breaking off this line now in Jesus' name. Whatever your father has done, whatever your mother mother has done, whatever your ancestors have done, I command the witchcraft to break now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing many people manifest now in the name of Jesus because God is moving and witchcraft is breaking. Witchcraft is breaking now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. So telebekoya. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Abigail, a mutual microphone, really quick in the name of Jesus. Abigail, a mutual microphone. Yeah. Listen to me. Listen to me. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I know what you told me about the voodoo priest or whatever. But God says he's shifting things in your life. Abigail. It's Abigail, right? Your sister's Abigail, right? It's Abigail, Jess. It's Jess. It's Jess. Jess, Jess, listen to me. Whoever did that witchcraft against you, that spirit is breaking. Listen to me. Put your stomach on your hand. On your stomach. Your hand on your, hand mm -hmm. on your stomach. Yeah. By the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus, every spirit of witchcraft that is on your, on your life right now, Jess, I command it to break by reason of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> I was about the spirit of witchcraft that is in your life right now. Whoever that woman was that came against you that did witchcraft, I break it now in the name of Jesus. I come against that power of witchcraft. What that voodoo priest was that has done things against your destiny and your purpose. I command it to break now by reason of the blood of Jesus. I break the hold of witchcraft now. Every spirit of voodoo that was done to you is being broken now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command it all to come out. I command it all to come on now, out of her stomach now, in the name of Jesus. That spirit of witchcraft is breaking. Vomit it up right now. It's coming out. Vomit it up right now in the name of Jesus. Vomit it up right now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, it's coming out. It's coming out in the name of Jesus. It's coming out in the name of Jesus. Whoever that woman was that we did witchcraft against you, I break the power in the yoke now in the name of Jesus. Whoever that person was that witchcraft against you, I break it now by reason of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I break the spirit of witchcraft right now in Jesus' name. We break your hold in the name of Jesus. We break your hold now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. We break the spirit of witchcraft now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute you and go to somebody else. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Listen, I'm seeing what I'm seeing in the realms of the spirit right now. Hmm. I'm seeing demonic spirits. Hmm. Listen. Lily, unmute your phone now in the name of Jesus. Unmute your phone. Everybody will receive deliverance today. Listen to me. Everybody will. Lily, listen to me. Today is your day. Amen. Today is your day. Lily. Hmm. Listen to me. Every spirit of witchcraft that is left over in your life and sent to Rhea. I commence to go now in the name of Jesus. Break by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's coming out. It's coming out. Every spirit of witchcraft that is left over in your body, I command it to break now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of Santeria, everything in your stomach is breaking and loosing now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out. 
Break in the name of Jesus. Break your hold right now in the name of Jesus. It's coming out by the power of the Holy Ghost. I break the witchcraft now in Jesus' name. It's breaking now. Leave Lily's body now in the name of Jesus. I command it to break now in Jesus' name. Every spirit that's fighting your finances, your destiny, and your purpose, everything that came from your parents and your bloodline, every spirit of Santeria, I command it to go now in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I'm seeing something we're moving out of you right now. Yes, 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 yes. The power of the Holy Ghost. I'm seeing the spirit of witchcraft breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking for your bloodline. I'm seeing a break in the name of Jesus. Out of her, come out. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That spirit of witchcraft is breaking now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Literally, even God says that your children, your child, that the enemy will not have his hand over. You hear me? The enemy will not have his hand over your child in the name of Jesus. Christina, listen to me, Christina. God says that I'm doing a new thing in you, Christina, right now. The Lord says, Christina, that I'm doing a new thing in you right now. Put your hand on your stomach. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Unmute, unmute your microphone, Christina. God is doing something right now. God is doing something right now. In the name of Jesus, Christina, listen to me. Every spirit of witchcraft that is in your life, I command it to break now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, put your hand in your stomach. By the power of the Holy Ghost, Father God, I break every spirit of witchcraft in Christina's life. In the name of Jesus Christ, every power of darkness, Lord, that has come against her, Father God, we break it in the name of Jesus Christ, God. We cancel every spirit of witchcraft, every demonic power that has been assignment against her life, every spirit of Jezebel, Lord Jesus, that is against her life, Father God. We break it now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing something break off you, Christina, now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we break witchcraft. We break the occult off you now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. God is moving right now. Listen. In the name of Jesus. Right now, it's like I'm seeing keys. Hmm. Jesus. It's like I'm seeing keys to marriage. So some of you are believing God for marriage. But it's been held up in the realms of the spirit. Marriage. Marriage. Marriage is being held up in the realms of the spirit. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Oh my God. Listen. That spirit of the power of darkness of witchcraft. That spirit that is covered against you, I come against it now in the name of Jesus. That spirit of witchcraft that is upon you, Daphne, I break it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit of witchcraft, Daphne, there's an assignment against your life. I command it to loose its hold now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, unmute your microphone for me, Daphne. We'll deal with this thing now in the name of Jesus. Every assignment of witchcraft, Daphne, that is coming against your relationship with Vladimir, I come against the witchcraft now in Jesus' name. Break. Every spirit of witchcraft that came from Freemasonry, I break it now in the name of Jesus. And I command you to come out. Come out of her now in Jesus' name. Loose your hold. Loose your hold now. Loose your hold. Cough it up now in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, every spirit of witchcraft that your father is doing against you, I command it to go now in Jesus' name. Cough it up, go. Break, 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 break in the name of Jesus. I bind you now in the name of Jesus. And I command you to go back to hell now in Jesus' name. I command you to go back to hell. Cough it up now, go. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of witchcraft that was done, Freemasonry that was done, I break it now in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Cough it up by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's coming out. I'm seeing the power of darkness break off you now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. That witchcraft spirit, I command you to break. Cough it up. Go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What is your name? You spirit of witchcraft. You spirit of witchcraft. What is your name? In the name of Jesus. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh-huh. What is you name? know my name. You I know my name. You now in the name of Jesus. You know my name. That spirit of Jezebel, I command you now in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command you to loose her body now. By the fire of the Holy Spirit, back in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, your time is done. No, I can't go. Your time I is done. Go. I command I the spirit of witchcraft, I command it to leave now in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm seeing angels in the spirit of God, literally in your car right now. There are angels right there in your car, in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, there's angels right where you are in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, and I command that spirit of Jezebel, and every merman spirit that's in your body, every merman, every mermaid that is in your body, I break its hold now in the name of Jesus. I break its hold now in the name of Jesus. I chop its legs off. I chop its neck off, and I command it to leave your body in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I send the fire of God in your stomach. Something is coming out of your stomach now in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing it come out of your stomach. It's coming out. And the count of three, three, two, one. Loose her body now in the name of Jesus. It's coming out. It's coming out. Cough it up. Cough it up. Go. Cough it up now in the name of Jesus. Cough it up. Break in the name of Jesus. Break right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's coming out. It's coming out in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing it. As I'm praying for her, I want other people to pray too for yourselves. Receive this deliverance for yourself because I'm seeing God break things off multiple people at the same time. Every spirit of witchcraft that is coming against your life, I break it now. Every incantation and ritual that is done against you, I break it now. I break the power. I break the witchcraft. Every altar that's risen up against you, Daphne, I break the altar in the realms of the spirit now in the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus. And I command Jezebel to leave your body now in the name of Jesus. I break her power. I break your power. I break your power. I have no power. I break your power now in the name of Jesus. I have no power. You told her to pray. I command you. At 3 a.m., you disturb us. I hate you. I hate you, Abednego. That's why I'm going to come against your relationship with you and Aaron. Listen, you spirit, (laughs) you power of darkness. You have no power. What are your legal rights? To destroy her. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I come against you now by the spirit of the living God. By the spirit Blood, of the God. We took your job. That's why you can't find a job. In the you name will of not Jesus. marry her. You will not marry her, Vlad. Listen. I know you're on here. We are the one holding you from your finances, and you can't get a job because we're holding it. So I want people to listen to this. Now you guys can see that witchcraft. Powers of darkness are the one that hold destinies and purposes. You will not marry her. You hear me? Many of you, I'll, I'll, I, will, I, will, I will reach you guys. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I strip your power. Everything that you're doing against his finances, the marriage, no. I take it in the name of Jesus. It will not work in the name of Jesus. I decree and I prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every agenda, everything that the darkness is, is, is planning against Vlad, and her, I break it now in the name of Jesus. Now I command you now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, cough up your substances now in the name of Jesus. Every toxin you put in your body, cough it up now by reason of the blood of Jesus Christ. Come out now, break, 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 open your mouth now, come out, come out, break. It's coming out, break, 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 break. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pulled Jezebel out by her tail. I pull her out by her tail, and I command her to come out in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, come out. It's coming out. It's coming out. Out of your stomach. That thing is in your stomach and your back. I break it now, and I send the fire of God. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's coming out. That snake, those worms, and everything the enemy has put in your body, it's coming out. In the name of Jesus, it's coming out. Break in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Oh, we can't leave. We in the name of Jesus, leave. by the power of the Holy Ghost, so Rabanda, man, tenebe, skuya, and daraba, santa, man, santa, raba, so, yen, delebe, koya, and daraba, zete. I pull you out from my stomach and I command you out in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and exit now in the name of Jesus. 
Open your mouth and exit now. Three, two, one, go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. Out of your mouth, vomit it up now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to go to the next person right now. I'm going to go to the next person right now in the name of Jesus. Listen, as I'm praying, even your life, over your life area, even over your life, I'm seeing God breaking things out for people right now. If you love your destiny and your purpose, if you love yourself, if you want things in your life to succeed in your life, you have to understand what you're coming against. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Zaria. Listen to me, Zaria, right now. Zaria, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of witchcraft that is against your life, Zaria Mackins, I come against that spirit of witchcraft that I'm seeing now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I command the spirit of witchcraft to leave your body now, in the name of Jesus. Every demonic power and every principality, I break it off your life. Now, in the name of Jesus, cough it up. I'm seeing it come out of you right now. Cough it up. Come out of Zaria now, in the name of Jesus. Cough it up now, in Jesus' name, the spirit of witchcraft. Every satanic spirit, it's coming out, Zaria. It's coming out of your throat, out of her now. Go. Cough it up. Go. Cough it up now, in the name of Jesus. Cough it up. Out of her. Witchcraft must break. Come out. It's this thing that's holding your destiny and your purpose. It's coming out. Break, in the name of Jesus. Cough it up now. Every assignment of witchcraft in your life, I break witchcraft off you completely. And every principality, spit it out all out. Spit it out. Spit it out now. Spit it out now in Jesus' name. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me, guys. Even concerning Philomena, listen to me, Philomena. I'm seeing the hand of God over your life, Philomena. And some of you that are like, when is he going to get to me? I'm not going to be able to get to all of you guys personally. But even as I'm, as I'm praying, I'm seeing things unlocking even over your life, Carrie and Fraser. I'm seeing things in your life that God, the door is opening in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, over your life, Philomena, I break the spirit of witchcraft in your life, Philomena. Every spirit of Jezebel, that is in your life, Philomena. I break it now in the name of Jesus. And I command it to go by the fire of God now in the name of Jesus. I command the spirit of witchcraft and Jezebel to break now. To break. To break. I come against the spirit of Jezebel. And I command it to loose your life in the name of Jesus. To break off you by reason of the blood of Jesus. By reason of the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of witchcraft is beginning to break off this line. It's beginning to break off this line in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Everybody under the sound of my voice. Listen to me. Hey. My God, my God, my God. Oh. There's about 10 people on this line that I see right now. That you are 10 years behind. 10 years behind. And one of you, your name is Zanel. Zanel, come here. Unmute your microphone, Zanel. Zanel, listen to me, Zanel. I'm seeing on this earth that you are delayed. That on this earth you are delayed. Listen, those people who, are, who, who, who will just leave, you understand what's happening in the realms of the spirit concerning your destiny. Things are breaking on your behalf. Those people, I'm seeing people leave, they don't understand what's taking place in their destiny. This is not a matter of, let me pray for one-on-one, one-on-one. You <laughs> receive the deliverance for yourself. Zanel, listen to me, Zanel. Listen to me. Your destiny has been hijacked in the realms of the spirit, but God says, I'm releasing it. Are you married? Yes. You're married. Do you live with your husband? Yes, I am. Yes. Yes. God says, do you have children? Two kids, yes. Two kids. 
Look, God says that he's been married for 15 years now. God says that he's reversing the curse. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> that's the of witchcraft is in your bloodline. It's in your bloodline. Get ready for what God's about to do in the name of Jesus, Zanel, over you now, Zanel. Every spirit of witchcraft, you will vomit it up in the count of three. One, two, three, come out now in Jesus' name. Come out of her. Every spirit of witchcraft <laughs> by the power of the Holy Ghost, every spirit of witchcraft that is in our body is coming out. Every yeah. spirit of witchcraft that comes from your bloodline. This thing is in your family. There's many of you on, your, on this line that I see on this line. It's in your family. It's in your family. Listen. Where would this spirit get? I can't it to come to the surface now in the name of Jesus. Who are you? What is your name? Who are you? What is your name? What is your name? Is your name? Speak English. What is your name? Where do you come from? Where do you come from? The river. The river. The river. You come from the river. And what is your name? Race. Race. <laughs> and you've been coming through her destiny or her purpose. You've been coming against it. You've been coming against her destiny. She wants. She wants succeed. She wants. You hear what the spirit is saying? It's saying she will not succeed. Craft. You spirit of witchcraft, I command you now in the name of she Jesus. Wants, she wants. How did you enter this body? How did you enter the body? I command you now in the name of Jesus. In the count of three, in the count of three you're leaving this body. The spirit of witchcraft and you principality. You from the river. One. Two, three, out, soto, rabata, mantele bescoya, and daraba, zetele bescoto, riba santa rabacoya, maraba soto, let over destiny or a purpose. Out, vomit it up, go, vomit it up now, out, vomit it up now, go, vomit it up, vomit it up, vomit it up, get out, get out, it's coming out, and images, everything from the river and witchcraft, get out, get out, in the name of Jesus, the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her. Every spirit of witchcraft, I command you now in the name of Jesus, lose your hold. Oh my God. Witchcraft. You will, it will vomit everything out. It will, you will continue to vomit everything out. That thing from the river, it's coming out. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, it's coming out. So guys, I want you to listen to me something. I am one man. I can only teach you and equip you and cast certain demonic spirits out, yes. But it's your choice to come against these things. Some of you are not manifesting, but I'm seeing the spirit of witchcraft. Your finances, even over you, Janae, there's a power of darkness that is fighting you. There's a power of darkness, Janae, that is fighting your life. Even over you, Janae, there's a power of darkness that is fighting your life. And this thing is number one thing is to come against your mind. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's to come against your mind. In the realms of the spirit, this thing has your destiny in its hands. It wants you to struggle on this earth. No matter what you do, your mind, it will mess with your mind. But God says right now that he's liberating you. The Lord said, I'm setting you free right now from the bondages of witchcraft in your life, Janae. I break every spirit of witchcraft that is in your life, Janae, now in the name of Jesus. And I commit it out by the Holy Ghost. It's coming out. It's coming out. <laughs> The spirit of witchcraft is leaving you. Yeah. 
<laughs> Who are you? Speak. <laughs> no way. Janae, listen to me, Janae. <laughs> By the power of God. <laughs> I love you. Janae, <laughs> listen to me. I can't breathe. You can't breathe. <laughs> You have, peace now in the name of Jesus. you have peace now in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Peace in the name of Jesus. 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 Janae. Janae, listen to me. Janae. I don't want to go. Janae, come to the service now. Janae, listen to me. I don't want to go. Janae, listen to me. Janae, come, come here. Come to the service, Janae. Janae, come to the surface. You have peace. Yes. You have peace right now. You have peace. You have peace. I'm gonna ask you. Oh. Janae, Janae, listen. Janae, listen. Janae, listen. Relax. Relax. Is that is that you laughing? No. Just listen. Listen to me. Oh. You'll have peace now in the name of Jesus. You have peace. Is, is there someone in the room with you? Who's in the room with you? My daughter. Is, is, is you have your daughter, that's it? Huh? Is that only your daughter in there? No. Who else? Kahim. Who's that? My friend. Is he a believer in Jesus Christ? Yes. Cause listen. Put the phone back up. Because listen. <laughs> your destiny and your purpose is held up. And it's deep in it, it. There's somebody that's doing witchcraft against you too. Somebody who's doing witchcraft against you too. This is why people, when I tell you about your destiny and your purpose, the reason things are not going good in your life is because there's a spirit. Raise your hands. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit of witchcraft out. By the power of the Holy Ghost, every spirit of witchcraft that is an assignment against your life, it's leaving now the says the Lord in the name of Jesus. Can't put up now, go in the name of Jesus. I break the spirit of witchcraft and the occult in your life. Put your hand on your stomach. I command every form of witchcraft in your life, everything in your bloodline, I command it to go now in the name of Jesus. I break every Jezebelic spirit, every principality in your life. We break it now in the name of Jesus. And I command it to loose your hold. It's loosing its hold. It's coming out. It's coming out. I'm seeing it coming out. 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 Out of your life in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking. It's breaking. Come out of her. Come out. Come out, <laughs> witchcraft, every witch and warlock, whoever that woman is doing, whatever that woman is doing to you, that woman that I'm seeing, that is coming against your destiny and your purpose. I come against her now in Jesus' name. And I command her to leave your body now, out of her, come out. In the name of Jesus. That's spirit, Janae. It's coming. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit. We break it out of your stomach and your throat in the name of Jesus. <laughs> By the power of the Holy Ghost. John Telebeko Yandaraba Zekete. It's coughing up. It's coming out. Cough it up. Go. Cough it up. Go. Out. Coming up. Out. Break. 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 In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of listen, listen to me, Janae. Listen to me. What I'm seeing concerning you is deep. So after this thing, you have to message me because what's fighting me, I have to go one-on-one -on -one with you to break it. Yeah. This thing that's fighting you. There's a, I don't know you, but there's certain things in your life that are not going the way you want it. There's a person that is involved that is coming against you. That's fighting your mind too. Every power that is influencing your mind, that is coming against your mind, I break the witch that is coming against you.
the warlock that is coming against you, that spirit in your bloodline and the generational curse, we break it in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I want you to message me after this, all right? Yes. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Listen to me. I'm not going to get to everyone, but as you can see, as you can see, many people's destiny, your purpose, your finances, your marriage, is hindered by witchcraft. I don't know these people. I don't know these people. But even concerning you, Batil, it's time. Unmute your microphone, Batil. Listen. Listen, Rico's iPad, Batil, listen to me, Batil. Yes. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you spirit of witchcraft that is coming against her, her destiny and her purpose, I command you to leave her body in the name of Jesus. Go now. Go. In Jesus' name, get out. Get out. Get out. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. What was her cousin's name again? Malik. You spirit of Malik, come here, in the name of Jesus. You Malik. You're her cousin. Yes. People, I want you. I want you. I want, I want you to look at this. This spirit of witchcraft. This is her cousin speaking out of her. Her cousin is the witch that is doing things to her and has astral projected. So I want you to see that family members are the ones that are responsible. I want you to see that family members are the ones who are responsible. Own cousin. Own cousin coming against your destiny and your purpose. This is why I saw the bow in Ethiopia. Your finances in the bowl from your own cousin, your own clothes, your own things that your own cousin took. I see it. Again. So that spirit. What's the name again? Mahalit. Mahalit. What is your, what, what is what is your what what are you what are you planning to do? Kill her. To kill her. I come against you now in the name of Jesus. Every power of witchcraft that came from your cousin. Namhalet, any spirit of witchcraft that came from your family and your cousin, I break it now in the name of Jesus. Cough it up, get out. Everything that came from your cousin, in I command it to Jesus. leave now in the name of Jesus. Get it to stand up. I'm seeing something. Get it to stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Get it to stand up. Hold the microphone. Hey, Tilly, I'm seeing something. Look at me. Stand up. Look. Look. I want you to lift your hands. By the power of the Holy Ghost, get ready for what's about to happen. God says right now that he's reconstructing some things in your life. God says even concerning the witchcraft and the curses that have been upon your life, the Lord says, I'm, I'm bringing them out. The Lord says, I'm bringing it out. In the spirit of witchcraft, in the name of Jesus, I command you and the cousin that is doing witchcraft, that witch in Ethiopia, that is doing witchcraft against you, on three, you will leave this body. One, two, three. Out in the name of Jesus. Where is she? Look, sir, at, her. Look at her. Put, put, the, put the camera down. Let me see her. Hey, man, I command the spirit of witchcraft that entered you from your cousin I command it to leave now in the name of Jesus. Now I'm gonna let get out of her body now in Jesus' name. Go by force and by fire in the name of Jesus. You will let go of her destiny and her purpose. I command you to go in the name of Jesus. I command you to go. Vomit it up now. And I want you with your hands to release her destiny and her purpose now. Go. 
Release your finances now in the name of Jesus. Take every witchcraft <laughs> off her body now. Take it all off her body. <laughs> Take it all off her body now. Take it all <laughs> off her body now. <laughs> I come against you now, you spirit of witchcraft that came from a cousin, Nahamalet. I come against you now in Jesus' name. Get out. That spirit of astral projection, leave the body now in Jesus' name. of the Holy Ghost. <gasps> Fire of the Holy Ghost. Vomit it up. That spirit from Ethiopia that came from Africa from your cousin. I break it. The hair that she has of you and the nails and the clothes and the money that she took from you. I command it to come out of you now. Go. Break. Break. It's coming out. It's coming out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's all coming out in the name of Jesus. So you guys don't understand. This is from a person, a family member. That's why I say don't give your stuff to just anybody. Don't eat just from anybody. Break in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. How long have you been in this body? Six years. Six years. Her own cousin doing this for six years. In the name of Jesus, the rock of God is about to hit you. Look at me. One. Listen to me. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus, out. Get out. Go. 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 Cough it up. Go. In the name of Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the next person. Okay. In the name of Jesus. So, I'll, guys, I want this to be a teaching lesson to many of you. The reason I'm allowing y'all to see this. As you can see, that family members also do witchcraft against you. I've had an aunt that was involved in witchcraft. Uncle, too. That's her cousin. Her cousin would always ask her for money. Would always ask her for stuff about her life, her clothing. But as she got these things, she began to do witchcraft. And the Lord opened my eyes. I saw a, a wooden bowl of witchcraft and I saw American dollar bills in Africa. I'm seeing an African bull, but I'm seeing American dollar bills in an African bull in Ethiopia coming against her finances. Some of you in the realms of the spirit, a family member is fighting you. Your, your pastor, you think it's your pastor, it's, it's a pastor's a warlock. Huh? We're going to do another prayer because I want everyone to encounter God. I don't want you to be religious. Don't sit there and say nothing's happening because even if you even though you're not manifesting, I'm seeing powers of darkness on your life and I'm seeing things break off. But if you want your life to change, it's not about manifesting. It's about your life changing. If you want your life to change, you have to pray. By ways of witchcraft, my God. We will pray another prayer. But before I do that, Raja, come here. Raj, come here, Raj, Raj. Hello. God is about to touch you right now. See, I don't know you, but get ready. Father, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of witchcraft that's coming against Raja, I break the power of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever is coming against this woman, I break it now in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing, I'm seeing it. The spirit of witchcraft in your life, Raja, is breaking now in the name of Jesus. And this spirit that's coming against your destiny and your purpose, I command it to leave your life now in Jesus' name. I command it to go by the power of the Holy Ghost. This power of darkness is breaking now. The spirit of witchcraft is breaking. It's coming out of you, Raja. I'm seeing it coming out. It's breaking now in the name of Jesus. It's coming out. It's coming out in the name of Jesus. It's coming out. It's coming out in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. Break now. Break. 
Break. Break. Break in the name of Jesus. Break. Come out of her. Come up. Cough it up. Cough it up. Cough it up. Cough it up. Come out of her. Cough it up. Out in the name of Jesus. That spirit of witchcraft that is fighting your destiny. That spirit of witchcraft is coming out. It's coming out. In the name of Jesus Christ, this witchcraft that is coming against your finances, it's coming against marriage, it's coming against peace of mind, it's bringing your life. I come out to break. It's breaking now in the name of Jesus. Get out. Get out now in the name of Jesus. I will move you from our body now in Jesus' name. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I command you to go. 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 There was somebody close to you that is responsible. There's somebody close to you that's been doing witchcraft against you. That says right now, be very careful who you allow in your life. Be very careful who you allow in your life because this thing is coming against your destiny. I break the spirit of witchcraft now off your life, Raja, and I command it to go now. Out, 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 go. I'm seeing it coming out. Vomit it out, go, go. It's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out. Out, by force and fire, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That spirit of witchcraft is breaking. It's coming out, it's coming out. L lift up your hands. Manifest yourself, whoever the spirit is, manifest yourself for who you truly are. Manifest yourself. Whoever you are, manifest yourself. Manifest yourself. No. Manifest yourself now in the name of Jesus. No. Manifest yourself. No. I command you now in the name of Jesus Christ, get out of her body. Fire of the Holy Ghost, go. Fire of the Holy Ghost, go. It's coming out. It's coming out. She will lay hands on the sick. She will cast demons out of people. God will use her. The Lord will use her. By reason yes. of the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lord will use her. Yes. The Lord is setting her apart. Yes. God will yes. use her powerfully in this nation. If you felt like you've seen finances now, God says, I'm unlocking a realm of finances in your life. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command a spirit of witchcraft to leave you now. Cough it up. Get out in Jesus' name. Go. 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 Now in Jesus' name. Come out of her now. Cough it up now in Jesus' name. Go. <laughs> By reason of the blood of Jesus. Jesus. By reason of the blood of Jesus. Listen, we're going to pray one more prayer. But I want you guys to hear something. You who are watching me, you may not manifest, even in your life, Manita, La, Mon La Monica. God is doing something in your life, a breakthrough in your life. La Monica. Do not think it not strange. La Monica, when things begin to fall in order, when, when strange things begin to happen in your life, blessings. Because there, there's, been, there, there's been people who have been doing witchcraft. And it's not, it's not really like people think it's personal, it's in the bloodline. And that same spirit that was invoked years ago has been following you. But I come against every spirit of witchcraft. Listen to me. We're going to pray again. This prayer is going to be for everyone corporately. And if you're going to, if you receive this prayer, you will find deliverance. If you believe the prayer that I'm praying, and if you believe that you can receive a group deliverance, you will find deliverance. Those demonic dreams will, will break. You will get a job. You will get married. Things will go right for, with you in school. Anxiety. I'm seeing heavy anxiety. Some of you are about anxiety and depression. I see it here. It's by ways of witchcraft. How many of you are battling anxiety here? I'm seeing anxiety here. Who's battling anxiety here? Anxiety. I'm seeing heavy anxiety, but it's by witchcraft. Anything is coming against your mind because I can see the spirit of anxiety is now fighting your prayer life. I'm seeing it. Many of you battling anxiety is coming against your prayer life. 
The Bible says, I did not give you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Not anxiety, a sound mind. Sound. The spirit of anxiety will break. But we will pray corporately. But as I pray, everyone, you're going to repeat a prayer after me, then I will pray, okay? So say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I repent of all my sins. Any doors that I've opened, knowingly or unknowingly, I close them now in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of witchcraft that I've invited in my life, I break it now in the name of Jesus. Any open door for my family, any open door for my sins, any open door for my bloodline, I break it now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of witchcraft that is fighting my finances, my marriage, my mind, my destiny, and my purpose, I break it now. And I cancel every legal right that the enemy has on my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm going to pray now. Listen, if you love your life, you won't sit there and just look at me. If you love your destiny and your purpose, you won't sit there and look at me. Because I can see in the spirit that many of you are lookers. You're not demonstrators. I can see many of you, you watch, but you don't pray. My goal isn't not just to teach you and to cast demons out of you. It's to equip you so you can do the same thing. Because there's prophetesses on this line and you don't know your prophetess. There's prophetesses on this line, but you don't know. I can see it. But there's a spirit of witchcraft that is fighting you. Many, I'm seeing many calls on this life, anointing on this, on this line. Many of you are anointed. So now there's a heavy call on your life. God will use you. Zenel. And there's a reason why even at your birth, there was witchcraft done. But I break the witchcraft that was done in your childhood against you in the name of Jesus. That spirit of witchcraft is now that I was done to you in your childhood. I break it now in Jesus' name, out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. So we will pray. We will pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, every single person under the sound of my voice, by the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord, your word says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Your word says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God and the pulling down of strongholds. Your word says that the battle is mine and the victory is yours. The Bible says that vengeance is mine and I shall repay. The Bible says, if I am for you, who shall stand against you? And your word says, God, in the book of Psalms, that you sing songs of deliverance to us. And your word says, God, that you hear the cries of the righteous and you deliver them from all of their troubles. So, Father, now, every single person under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus that is oppressed by witchcraft, that is oppressed by generational curses, I command it now in the name of Jesus Christ to leave now by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Witchcraft holding against your mind for anxiety, break. Witchcraft coming against your mind, Witchcraft coming against your marriage. Witchcraft coming against your finances. Witchcraft coming against your breakthrough. I break it now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Every witchcraft from Africa. I break it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every generational curse that is upon your life is being loose now. Zotorobo Santarabakiandarabazata. Ramat Osabani Genevia. Listen to me. Ramat. <laughs> I'm seeing God do something in your life. Listen to me. Where are you from? 
South Africa. Do you go to church? Yes. You love Jesus? Very much. Are you living right before the Lord? That's, yeah. It's been four years since I became born again. Get ready for God's about to set you free. Amen. Now in the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of witchcraft to leave your life now. Go. Every spirit of witchcraft in your life, I break it by the power of the Holy Ghost. And I command it to go now. Cough it up. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Every spirit of witchcraft come out of her now in Jesus' name. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I command witchcraft to go. Witchcraft to break out of her now in the name of Jesus. Out of you right now. Go in the name of Jesus. Break by fire now in Jesus' name. Cough it up. Get out. Witchcraft is coming out. I'm seeing it coming out. This thing that's holding your finances, I break the witchcraft now. In your bloodline, I come against the witchcraft. That witch doctor that is coming against you, that witch that is coming against you, I break it now. And I command the witchcraft, the snakes and everything that are in your belly, to cough it up now. Go, cough it up, go. Cough it up now and just say, cough it up. Vomit it up, go. Vomit it up, go. Cough, you know, vomit it up, go. Vomit it up, go. In the name of Jesus, come up. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. It's coming out. Don't cover your mouth. That thing is coming out. Because I'm seeing in your mouth. The thing that you're spitting out is your destiny. My God, it's your destiny. Because there has been witchcraft that is coming against your finances. You spirit of witchcraft, where do you come from? Where did you come from? Where did you come from? In the family. Come in the family. Yes. What is your name? What is your name? Matole. Matole. How did you enter this body? From her bloodline. In her bloodline. You see, this spirit of witchcraft entered from the bloodline. I tell you, some of you are dealing with witchcraft from the from your bloodline. Generations, ancestors, before you was born, before you was born, there was witchcraft done on your bloodline. And because you were born from that bloodline, your destiny was aborted. But as long, but listen to me, woman. But today you will see deliverance. God, God says, raise your hands. God says, I'm setting you free now. God says that I'm setting you free now in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Every generational curse and witchcraft spirit, the Lord says, I'm dealing with it right now. One, two, three, it's done. Come out in Jesus' name. It's coming out. By the power of the Holy Spirit. That spirit of witchcraft. What is your name? You spirit, what is your name? What is your name? Matole. Who's your leader? I don't speak my... Who is your leader? Speak now in Jesus' name. Who's your leader? Who is your leader? No, 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 no. You will speak, you will speak truth in the name of Jesus. Who is your leader? Who is your leader? No, no, no. Leave us alone. What? what who's your leader? Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. What is your name? Matole. Who is your leader? No, I can't. She can't find out. She has been searching for long. She can't. She won't get married. So you're a spirit from the water. She won't get married. Yes. She yeah, has been God. doing all those things. She won't get married. What there is your name? No reveal, one... reveal your name now in the name of Jesus. Who are you? Reveal yourself. I'm her grandmother. Her grandmother. Hear me. She said, I'm her grandmother. Grandmother. I tried to tell you guys that your own parents, just from this line, a cousin, a grandmother, a father doing Freemasonry witchcraft, her own grandmother. And you think when I do these Zooms or these one-on-ones, it's a joke. I come to set you free from your own family members who are doing witchcraft. That spirit spoke out and said, I'm her grandmother. And you ask you, how, how are they able to do this? It's called astral projection. 
her own grandmother stopping her from getting married. Some of you, it's your grandparents that are coming against you. Some of you, you're gonna need, you're gonna need to do one on ones because it's your family member. And what is your grandmother's name? Look at me, woman. Is your is your grandmother alive? She hasn't met her. Is your grandmother alive? No. She's not alive. Yes. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, I come against every spirit that came from your grandmother now. Every human being spirit from your grandmother. I break the hold now in the name of Jesus. Out, cough it up, go. Every spirit that came from your grandmother, come out, come out, come out. Fire, fire. Fire, 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 the Holy Ghost. Every spirit that came from your grandmother, break, 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 In the realm of the spirit, I prophesy she will get married. I decree and I declare and I prophesy she will get married. I decree and I declare that she will, her finances will increase. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus that that spirit of the throne is leaving now in the name of Jesus. Get out. Every snake you put in their body is coming out. Get out. You grandmother, come out of her now in Jesus' name. Go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. So, like I said, we're going to pray corporately again. But I want you guys to listen to me. I'm going to pray again. We're not done. I told you. Family members. I know it's been a long time. We're going to be done in about five minutes. But family members are coming against you. I'm going to tell you three keys to minimize warfare. Stop letting people borrow your clothes. Stop. Don't just go put on any wig, human hair that someone else wore. Don't. Pray over everything. Don't eat from everybody's house. Even your own family mothers, your grandparents, your cousins, they give you food to eat, pray. Sometimes don't eat it, just pray. Because what I'm seeing on the slide, I told you in the beginning, I saw family members that were coming against people. I saw it. We'll be done in five minutes. We're gonna pray again. Get ready. Oh, Robo Shata. Lift up your hands. If you're watching things that change in your life, lift up your hands. Father, now, as a last prayer, every single person under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus, God, I release angels now by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I come against now every spirit of witchcraft. Lift up your hands. Everybody lift up your hands. I come against this every spirit of witchcraft. Every spirit from the occult. Every spirit in your bloodline, <clears throat> every generational curse, huh? every voodoo priest, huh? everything that came from Africa, that came from your grandparents, that came from your father, that came from your cousins, that came from your fake pastor, that came from your friends, that came from food, I command it to break now. Everything from your grandparents, yeah, is coming out, from your cousins, is coming out. I'm seeing manifestations take place now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, everything that came from your father is breaking, even concerning your life, Angela. Things are breaking concerning your life, Angela, in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, every spirit of witchcraft in your life, Angela, is breaking now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of witchcraft in your life, Gabby, is breaking. Every spirit of witchcraft in your life, Vladimir, is breaking. Fire in your life, Vladimir. Fire, fire, breaking that witchcraft in your life, Vladimir. It's breaking every form of witchcraft in your life. Every form of witchcraft in your life, Jennifer, is breaking. Breaking now by reason of the blood of Jesus Christ, uh, every form of witchcraft in your life, Carrie and Fraser is breaking in your life, Christina, it's breaking. Aaron, every spirit of witchcraft in your life is breaking now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hazel, it's breaking, the witchcraft is breaking. Abigail and Jeff, the, Jess, the witchcraft is breaking. Christina, the witchcraft is breaking, it's breaking. I'm seeing it coming out. Uh, Christina, I'm seeing something come out. I'm seeing it's coming out. That's been a witchcraft. Christina Marie, ah, Rabanda. 
that spirit of witchcraft, listen to me, just put your hand on your head right now, in the name of Jesus, Christina, I command that spirit of witchcraft to leave your body now, go, cough it up, go, 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 Christina, right now, it's coming out, fire, 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 let go of her destiny and her purpose right now, let go of her destiny and her purpose, you will let go of her marriage, you will let go of her destiny and her purpose, you will let go of her mind on three, you will vomit it up in the name of Jesus. That's been of witchcraft. One, everything that came from a bloodline or family, you're leaving three. One, two, three. Out in Jesus' name. Fire. Cough it up. Cough it up now in Jesus' name. Go. That's the, <laughs> yeah, the, the spirit of witchcraft in your life, Christina. It's the Lord says it's done. They, the Lord says they have come to fight your destiny. Yeah. But that spirit. I command the witchcraft to leave your stomach, out of your body, throughout your spine, out of your mouth now. Cough it up in Jesus' name. Go. Go. <coughs> I'm seeing favor all over your life, Christina. <laughs> Things are being unlocked in the realms of the spirit. That witchcraft is breaking now in Jesus' name. Out in the name of Jesus. We'll continue to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of witchcraft God is on your people. Anything unknowingly or knowingly that is on your people, anything that is on Betil, that is on Yosef, that is on Lily, that is on Christina, that is on Abigail and Jess, that is on Zaria, that is on Daja, that is on Lamonica, that is on Jenny, that is on Valerie, that is on Aaron, that is on Angela, that is on the Zoom user, the pink shirt, and that is on Mary, that is on Daphne, that is on Raja, that is on Zanel, that is on Fenji, that is on Mercedes, Christine, Hazel, Janae, uh, Genevieve. Also, all these people, Gabby, Catherine, Carrie, and Jennifer, I come against them um, all in the name of Jesus. The spirits of witchcraft are breaking now. Every power of witchcraft. I'm seeing finances being released now. I'm seeing marriage being released now in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing it now, God. Ariel, God is touching you right now. Every spirit of witchcraft that is in your life, Ariel, is being broken now in the name of Jesus. God says, God says there's been a turnaround, that 180 degree shift in your life. God says the spirit of witchcraft is breaking in your life. Hey, hey, hey. God says, get ready. God says, get ready. God says, get ready. Do not doubt. Man telebe, because even the spirit of witchcraft is coming against your emotions. Man telebe, school telebe. I break the spirit of witchcraft in your life completely off you, area. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Christine, God says, go deeper. God says, go deeper, because as you go deeper, God says, as you go deeper, there'll be treasures. There'll be things hidden that you do not even know about, that, that you have not seen or heard about. That your mind has not even conceived. God says he's taking you to a higher place. God says you will not stay in that place of stagnation. God says he's taking you to a higher place. In the name of Jesus. Vladimir, the Lord says that he's opening up doors of opportunity in your life. Even though the enemy has come and aborted your job. And has done things to fight you. The Lord said that he is resurrecting your life. He said he's resurrecting your finances. The Lord says, yes, you will get married. But hear me well. God says that he's resurrecting your finances. Because God says right now what the enemy has planned for evil. The Lord says that he's planning it for good on your behalf and on Daphne's life in the name of Jesus. The Lord says, do not focus too much upon the demoniac and the demonic. The Lord says, worship me and praise me. And, praise me. and think it not strange when you see my hand upon your life in the name of Jesus. So, Father, again, in the name of Jesus, everyone under the sound of my voice that is under witchcraft power, Father, we break it. We break the witchcraft power for good now in the name of Jesus. Off your life, Gabby. I break witchcraft off your life, Gabby Fuller, in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of witchcraft that is fighting your destiny, every spirit of witchcraft that is coming against you, we break it now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I speak total deliverance over your finances, over your mind, and over your destiny, and everything God has for you in the name of Jesus. Hey, this is the time to rejoice, even in your life, Catherine. The spirit of witchcraft is being broken off your life by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, my God. Even Oh, my God. Listen. Listen. I'm seeing it. 
I'm seeing it right now. I know it's been two hours. But what I'm seeing in the realms of the spirit will blow your mind. Oh, my God. Mm. Hey, Tarabando. It's like treasure boxes are opening over this line. And in this treasure box, it's things you're supposed to have a long time ago. And it's things that are coming. But are, there are angels being released right now and opening your destiny, unlocking your destiny and your purpose. Oh my God, oh my God. Man Santo. I'm seeing a job that is captivated in the realms of the spirit and finances that are held up in the second heaven. But God says it's being released. I'm seeing it right now, it's being released. There are jobs in this line. There are jobs in this line. There's somebody here, you're bleeding for a job. And the enemy has attacked your finances. God says that my hand is over your life. God says, what month are we in right now? We're in the month of November. God says in the month of December. God says that in the month of December, you shall see favor. Favor in the month of December. Strange things will begin to take place. From now into the end, to, 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 to the new year, it will be wild. If you love your destiny and your purpose, listen to what I'm saying. Don't go home and just be like, the man of God said this, I'm going to wait till it happens. The enemy will fight the prophetic word. You must pray and fast and water the word. Because there are witches and warlocks in your family that are coming against your destiny. Your grandma, your father, your brother, your sister are coming against you. They're fighting you. They feed you breakfast to eat in the morning. But the food you eat, they're coming against your destiny. Your sister borrows your coat clothes. At nighttime, she does witchcraft. Your father prays for you at night, but he's praying at an altar. Don't hang around friends too much that do not believe in Jesus. Because I'm seeing some of your friends you're hanging out with. They're witches and the warlocks. I see it. They're witches and they're warlocks. And you call them your friends. Listen, I know some of you, you'll reach out to me for one-on-one. -on -one. You can reach out to me via email. Aaron, put my email in the chat. Reach out to me via email. Because there's some people on here. What you're dealing with, you won't be delivered on Zoom fully. Because what you're dealing with, it has been placed in your life since your childhood. Your mother did it. In your childhood. So if you want a one-on-one -on -one with me, reach out to me. Some of you will message me and whatnot, and I will help you. But today I wanted to teach, equip you, and show you that witchcraft doesn't just mean it's somebody, it, it doesn't mean that you're practicing it. It could also mean somebody in your family is doing witchcraft against you, your friends. It can be people who are not alive that did witchcraft on the bloodline in 1980. If I tell somebody spirits to speak that we're manifesting, some of them will say 1950. The spirit will say 1950. Some, some of you people, the spirits that's manifesting in you, it will say before even you were born. It was in the bloodline. You hear me? Okay. So I'm going to leave it here, but I'm going to say a last prayer. Father, I just pray for every single person person watching over me. I pray that the prophetic word, the prophecy over their life, Father God, will not fall to the ground, Father God. I pray that destinies are unlocked. I pray that favor is unlocked in the name of Jesus, even in my life, Father God. I pray that marriage, finances, jobs, peace of mind are unlocked in the name of Jesus. And whatever family members are doing, Father God, it's being reversed now and it's being broken in the name of Jesus. I cover every single person with the blood of Jesus. There's some of you on here that are, that are believing to speak in tongues. And you've been asking God for God to use you more powerfully. Hmm. That will be a different zoom. But get ready. So, Father, I pray for every single person left over. 
on this live. I pray you protect everyone and you keep everyone safe in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't be a stranger. You can reach out to me, email me and whatnot, add me on Facebook. I'll reveal different stuff to you. There's some stuff I won't say on here. But even the people who are not manifesting, I see stuff. Okay? The spirit that's on here, it's called Leviathan, I'm seeing on this line. And this spirit of Leviathan is coming against many of you from speaking in tongues. It's coming against many of you in walking in your, it's like you're calling like your prophetic gift. Because every single person will receive a gift from the Holy Spirit, every single person. The Bible says these signs will follow those who believe. It's called a gift for a reason. But there's a spirit of Leviathan on this line that's coming against the gift. And the spirit of Leviathan, what it does, it restricts you from your gifts. It restricts the gifts from God manifesting in your life. But that would be a different Zoom. Okay? But some of you, when I do one-on-ones, huh, it's a process. Okay? But God bless you guys. I'm going to end it here. If you want to reach out to me, reach out to me. Vladimir, mm, my God. There's, there's heavy powers of darkness, Vladimir, that's fighting you. You and Daphne, you both will fast. And I'll come back and we'll do a Zoom, me, you, Daphne. I'll just keep praying for you guys until, you know, just, okay? But God bless you guys. I'm going to end it here. If you want to reach out to me, my email is right there. God bless you, all right? Love you guys. Take care.